Cheers. 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 We're going to get right into it. I don't got to do no intro, all that long talking. Them Patriots say, Rick, just get into it. Stop all that talking. But I do hope everybody is blessed, well, healthy, and that nothing but the best is going on in all you beautiful people's life. That y'all are having an amazing 2024, even though a lot of people are struggling. People are dying under these complete just... We have no common sense. We're a laughing stock. Failures. Liars. It's time for a change, man. But uh, old Don Lemon got a, a, a wake-up call, a reality check, man. We, 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 people are sick and tired of being sick and tired. You know? Let's go and jump into it, man. Shout out to them beautiful patriots around the world. My brothers and sisters, man. One love to the human race. One love to the human race, y'all. Let's go and get into this one. This is going to be a good one, y'all. Oh, boy. This is going to be a good one. Welcome to Atlantic City. <laughs> We're here in Jersey, Atlantic City. Who do you support? Trump. I, I plead the fifth. Trump for the win. But tell me why. Now, when they say that I plead the fifth, because this is a lot of people. They, they, don't, they don't like to fully come out and admit it in the public, you know. But when they go to cast that, that vote, it's Trump. You know? Yeah. Jersey, Atlantic City. Who do you support? Trump. I, I plead the fifth. Trump for the win. But tell me why. I can't really call that right now, but I just feel like she's not good for president. She's good vice, but not for the actual lead role for the country. Does it have anything to do with being a woman? No. Mm -mm. No, because I feel like women, mm, nah, you're not going to give me that. Your money's on Harris. Yeah. Who do you want? Trump. Why don't you like Harris? Oh, she doesn't have any experience. Uh, She's she the vice president. Biden. She's a she, senator. Yeah, no, no experience. No, no, no. She has no experience. Well, I want Donald Trump. I just feel we need somebody that has a stronger background with the military and the world in general. She was a prosecutor and an attorney general and a senator and a vice president. You're in a gambling town. Who's your money on? I'm going to support the Democratic Party, but, I mean, Trump looked like he, he got it in the bag right now. Four years ago, it was... He said, I'm going to support the Democratic Party, but... <laughs> Woo! It's a lot better. I made a lot more money than I do now. I know you feel that way, mm -hmm. but that's not actually what the record shows. The economy is actually better under <laughs> Biden. No, I'm serious. Where is they getting these, these facts from? I'm pretty sure what everybody's feeling, what everybody's going through now... Uh, Man, that fella. What, what? That's what the fact. World in general. She was a prosecutor and an attorney general and a senator and a vice president. You're in a gambling town. Who's your money on? I'm gonna support the Democratic Party, but I mean, Trump looked like he he got it in the bag right now. Four years ago, it was a lot better. I made a lot more money than I do now. I know you feel that way, mm -hmm. but that's not actually what the record shows. The economy is actually better <laughs> under Biden. No, I'm serious. What? what? That's what the Could fact you watch shows. CNN? Okay, you know what? No, no, no. That's not because I watched CNN. Trump or Harris? Trump. That's who's gonna win. That's who's going to win. Who do you support? I support Trump. All the people that came to this country legally, it's not fair that they're letting all 10,000 to 15,000 people or 20,000 people here illegally. Have you seen San Diego? Yeah. They're, coming to, they're coming off the boats, off the water right here, off the ocean. Did you, did you know Biden was flying them in? Did you know Biden was flying them in? Did you, you didn't know that? What do you Canadians think about what's going on here? We think you're all nuts. We're just watching from afar and just enjoying the show. <laughs> I gotta get out of Atlantic City. Where are we going to next? Yeah. Now, out of all this, this was my favorite clip, man. My favorite clip. I want y'all to hear this, man. Make sure y'all hear this. Hear this! <laughs> flying them in? Did you know Biden was flying them in? Did you? You didn't know that? Oh, I know nobody likes him, but we had good times with Donald Trump. Our economy was good. Life was good. But you know the economy's better under Biden than Trump. Bullshit. Well, that's what the stats <laughs> show. That's what the facts show. Well, you know what? I don't know where they're getting their facts, but I don't think they're valid. I don't. Everybody can relate to that. Am I wrong? That clip right there of this lady. Shout out to this to this beautiful patriot right here. Shout, bless this woman and her family. But everybody is feeling that way. But where are you getting your facts from? Everybody can feel it, man. They're going through it. They're, in, they're experiencing it right now. You know? After submitting that payment, after swiping that credit card, 
looking in that wallet. Seeing that interest rate. Come on, man. I'm going to play it one more time. Make sure y'all hear this, man. Because everybody's feeling this. He likes him, but we had good times with Donald Trump. Our economy was good. Life was good. But you know the economy's better under Biden than Trump. Bullshit. Well, that's what the stats show. That's what the facts show. Well, you know what? I don't know where they're getting their facts, but I don't think they're valid. I don't know where their facts are coming from. We all don't know where their facts are coming from. <laughs> they think the American people are stupid. They think us patriots are stupid, man. And we're sick and tired of being sick and tired of being sick and tired. Oh, don't worry, y'all. I got another one to show y'all, too. Yeah, no, oh boy. Y'all gonna love this one. The identity politics, you know. Trump derangement. Clueless. Don't know what's going on. The brain brainwashed. And uh, even even for the the little the little kids, man. Oh man, this is get. Oh boy, it gets. I'm telling you, it gets better and better, man. Let's check it out. Going to Scranton with his campaign. Everybody wants the vote in Pennsylvania. Pittsburgh is where the tour starts for the DNC. How you feeling about the election? I'm not feeling good. I'll tell you that much. It's, it's, what? It's crazy times. A lot of divisiveness. Too much divisiveness. Yeah. Come ahead. That is facts. I, that might be the only one I like in this clip. Harris is gonna win. You think so? Yeah. Why do you say that? Because she will be the first female president in the United States of America. It would be nice to have a girl to finally win. Boys are. You <laughs> Oh man, wait till she gets older. Hey man. Yeah. You know, they've had enough, right? Yeah. yeah. What would you say to Trump if you saw him? You're yeah, gonna lose. <laughs> <laughs> You've made your choice? Yes. You want to tell us? No. <laughs> Have you made your choice? Yes. I don't want to say it. You want to say? And just, I'm from California, you probably guess who I am. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm scared for Trump to win. We need a woman in power. It's really making you anxious? Yes, yeah, stressed, very stressed. <laughs> it's gotta be okay. We need a woman, and boy. And again, like I tell y'all, man, I know y'all are sick of hearing the identity politics and, uh, you know, a woman or if she's, you know, a black woman, if she's not black, if she's not, or who cares? I don't care, you know what I'm saying? But it's sad that we have to hear identity politics all the way to November 5th, man, you know? No matter who wins? No matter who wins, it's got to be, because yeah. this is the best country on the planet. Let me see, what did this lady say? Making you anxious? Yes, yeah, stressed, very stressed. <laughs> it's got to be okay. No matter who wins? No matter who wins, it's got to be, because yeah. this is the best country on the planet. He said it doesn't matter who wins. This is the best country on the planet. We'll be okay. But the living under the Trump administration for the next four years is very frightening to me, so there's a lot at stake. I'm very excited to see Kamala Harris on the ticket. For real, for real? Yes. Why? Because it's about time we don't we not just have a woman represent the country, but a woman of color. She's going to be... A woman of color is her only reason. Like them beautiful patriots around the world say, you just can't make this up. Be able to represent, I think, a broader group of people than anybody else that we've ever seen. And she's qualified? What? Absolutely. If she wasn't, why would she have done so well as the Attorney General of California? <laughs> Woo! You just can't make that up, man. Realize the biggest terror threat in this country is white men most of them radicalized right up to the right and we have to start doing something about them there is no travel ban on them there is no ban on you know they had the muslim ban there is no white guy ban so what do we do about but man oh man what do y'all think of all that man comment down below man shout out to them beautiful patriots my brothers and sisters around the world man and we know what type of time in that fellow's on you know we know all about that fella you know what i'm saying um but you just can't make this stuff up, man. And I know he didn't like to hear what tons of those voters, you know, had to say on uh, on Trump, you know. But a lot of people are not going for the, the, the crap anymore, man. They're waking up. You know, they're sick and tired of being sick and tired, man. We're sick of the lies. 
We're sick of the failures, you know. We're sick of the the, the, the race baiting, the race hustlers. We're sick of all that nonsense, man. You know, and it's sad that we do have to hear identity politics all the way to November 5th, you know. And again, we've let the media build a candidate. Worst approval rating, unpopular. I mean, was was even worse than Biden. Not one single vote, not one single vote in the primary, not one. Like they would say unconstitutional. <laughs> you know, but we've allowed the media to build a candidate, man. Pathetic. They were reversing on policies, copycatting, and then went full blown communist. You know, so I, I can say the Trump team has a huge, a huge leverage. They have red meat now. They can, they can really, they can, they have a huge leverage, man. And I, like I say, this this debate is gonna be, it should be a piece of cake, an easy knockout, you know. And um, everybody's waking up, as you can see, man, you know. But um, those interviews are uh, that first interview is going viral, so a lot of people are talking about it, you know. what I'm saying of of uh, people, you know, shooting for, you know, going for Trump. And as you can see, he didn't he didn't like to hear that, but um, it's in the pudding, man. But let me know what y'all think of all that. Comment down below. I'm wishing the best in all you guys' life, man. We have to make common sense great again, and I believe it's going to be too big to rig this year. We are not against the candidate. We are against the machine. A machine. And you see how they've rigged the machine up, you know? But it's going to be too big to rig this year, man. Too big to rig, baby. I love y'all. God bless you all and your families. Y'all have an amazing rest of the weekend, an amazing start to your week. And um, it's going to be real, real spicy and sweet this uh, these next couple of days. You know, we got the, the DNC. Man, it's going to be crazy. So we're going to be bringing y'all amazing coverage, amazing updates. We're going to have fun. We're going to crack jokes. We're going to laugh. We're going to keep it real, man. We're not going to sugarcoat it. You know, we're going to spread the truth, baby. But hey, I love y'all. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button if you are new here. Turn on those notifications so you don't miss a new video. And I will catch y'all in the next one, man. Peace and love, family.